Hi! Welcome to the Giant and the Storm. It's the final naval privateer mission uh, that you can pick up from the captain and the homestead. So, first up, destroy five little schooners, and that's relatively straightforward. If you're struggling with this, then next it's going to be super tough. Uh, use your swivel guns and your cannons and, um, yeah, whatever works for you. They shouldn't be too hard to take out. You can even ram them if you like. <laughs> We're saying they shouldn't be too hard to take out. I make an awful pig zero of it. But I get them eventually. There we go. Next, you're going to have three big boats, two frigates, and a man of war. And the optional objective, and this is the slutty one, is to take all three out by destroying their powder kegs. And there's a pretty easy way to do this. First, you want chain shot. Uh, and I get super lucky there. I ran one by accident and opened his powder keg. But I'll show you how to get them uh, other ways. Uh, chain shot to take their sails out like that. Uh, did that work? No, that did not work. Oh yeah, it did work. So that one's sails are down in the distance. This one uh, I just missed. But you want to continue to use chain shot to. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, immobilize. There we go. To immobilize both those. Because when they can't move, it's going to be very easy to reveal their powder cake spot. What we're going to do, see he's coming straight towards me now, that's perfect. There we go. And when it says hold RB to switch to round shot, you know you've taken the sails down. Uh, watch out for rogue waves, don't forget to take cover from that. Um, and as long as you're not riding alongside the boats, you shouldn't have too much trouble, the other ships. Um, you might have to do it once, but just remember to take cover. But what you want to do is come up here, just in front of them, and get a broadside onto their prow, onto the front of them. And then just open up and lay into them. Now a rogue wave hits in a second, then it all goes a bit wrong, we get kind of misaligned, so I have to sail around and come back for another pass and um, actually the angle here is a bit too much because I'm hitting too much of its side and not enough of its front and there's a risk I'm going to kill it. So I sail around a little bit, watch out for the broadside coming from there. Just be aware of um, where the other boats are. But align yourself like this, there we go, and just let a bunch of rounds directly into the front of it in this fashion. There we go, and that's the one. And eventually you will get a little circle like that, revealing the powder keg. Use your swivel guns to shoot that and take it out. And then we're off to do the Man of War. And the Man of War is broadly the same, the only major difference being that it can shoot forwards. So uh, when you align yourself at the front to take your pot shots like this, just be aware that it will also be shooting at you periodically. So alternate taking cover. But I got one shot there, I was super lucky and revealed the powder keg. I think basically you've got to put a cannonball in exactly the right place, and so by sending a bunch over at the front, you stand a greater chance. Anyway, dodge the rogue wave if you have it, and then use the swivel guns to pop the powder keg, and that's all three. I hope that was useful. Uh, let me know in the comments if anything's unclear. Essentially, chain shot to disable the masts, round shot, then regular shot from the front uh, to expose the powder keg, and then the swivel gun to pop that. Lots of love, bye!